Recognizing vowel pairs in words. It is the goal for your child to develop decoding skills. In order to build this ability, children need practice in recognizing common vowel pairs. In this activity, children will learn and practice using the vowel pairs EA and OA. Okay, so today we're going to work with two vowel pairs to help us read some words. So let's first remember the rule when we have two vowel pairs together. So right here we have the vowel pair E, e. and A. What do we have? E, e and, and A. A. So the rule is when we have two vowels together, we make the long sound of the first vowel. So in EA, what's the first vowel? Just tell me the letter. E. Beautiful. So what sound? E. Good. That's the long sound. What sound? Long or short? E. Good. Okay, so it's the long sound. What word helps us? Seal. Good. And we have a picture to help us. So, remembering the rule. O, A. What sound do we pay attention to? The first or the second vowel? The first. First vowel. Name the first vowel. Is it? What yes. Letter? It's an O. What letter? O. So it makes a long or short sound? Long. So what sound does O make? O. As in the word? Boat. Beautiful. We have our picture up here to help us. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to sort some words. So we're going to make sure the words that go in this column have the vowel pair E-A. So what sound for E? e a. Yeah, and that's the letters. Excellent. So what sound do th does this vowel pair make? E. Excellent, because we make the sound of the first vowel, and it's a long sound. Yes or no? Yes. Excellent. So let's move over here. We have our other vowel pair, and it is O-A. So which vowel do we pay attention to, first or second? First. Good. Long or short sound? Long. Make the sound? O. Oh. Good. As in the word? Boat. Excellent. You worked through that well. So, we have all our words here. Our job is to sort them and put them in the right column. So this is your job. You will take a word, read it, and put it in the column that it belongs. Meal. Okay. It goes into E. A. Perfect. Beat. It goes into E A also. Foam. O A. Peace. E A. Mm -hmm. Boat. O A. Mm -hmm. T. E A. Pass. E A. And again, let's just go back here. You said this word was pass. So let's think about the rule again. When we have two vowel pairs, do we pay attention to the first or the second vowel? E. First. first. Thank you. What sound does E make? Long or short? Long. So what sound? P e. Just give me the sound of the vowel first. E. Okay, so what sound again? E. Excellent, for that vowel pair. So let's blend the sounds to read the word. Peace. Good, so where does it belong? E-A. Good, thinking through that word. Read. There you go, much faster. E-A. Beautiful. Seal. E-A. Mm -hmm. Toad. O A. You sorted all those words correctly. So, okay, you did a great job sorting all these words into the right vowel pairs over here and these words as well. So now we're going to work a little bit more and we're going to make words using our two vowel pairs E A and O A. So very quickly, what sound does E A make? E. Excellent. What sound does O A make? O. You remembered the rule because we pay attention to the first vowel and we make a long, long sound. sound. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to do the first one. 
We'll do the second one together, and then number three and four, you're on your own. I'll be here to help you though. So, you could probably help me with the first one. So we need to read our sentence and then put in the right vowel pair to make sure that our sentence and words make sense. All right? Mm -hmm. So, I think this is a name of a person likes to, hmm, frog and hmm. Okay. So, I think a name that would make sense is E, Neil. Neil. Is that the name of somebody? Yes. So, I'm going to put Neil, D A. Neil likes to, okay, I could go read or road. It makes sense that Neil likes to read. read. I agree. Because I like to road doesn't make sense. Let's go back and read. Let's go together. Ready, go. Neil likes, likes to read frog and, and, hmm, frog and teed or frog and toad. What makes sense? Toad. Beautiful. Let's reread our sentence. Ready, go. Neil, Neil likes to read frog and toad. We got the right vowel pairs. Makes sense. All right, next sentence, number two. Let's do this one together. Ready? Let's read. The, the hmm was close to the hmm. hmm. Okay, so let's go back. The, the let's see, could it be E-A? All right, let's see. Let's find out. E-L. Okay, so s eel s Seal, hmm, or O-A. Let's try that. Soul. Okay. The seal was close to the mm. The soul was close to the mm. What makes the most sense, you think? The seal. I agree. Ready? Let's read. Go. The seal was close to the hmm. hmm. Okay. What do you think? I think it's O-A. All right. So let's blend it together. Boat. Okay, let's try that. Ready, go. The seal was close to the boat. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. You used the correct vowel pairs and you pronounced them correctly. All right, number three, go. Sammy did not like hmm, his hmm, or drinking his hmm. Okay. Go back. Let's see what makes sense with the right vowel pair. Sammy did not like eating. Okay, you think that makes sense? Mm -hmm. You made the right pronunciation. Let's try OA. Is that a word? Mm. Mm. What would that be? Oaking. What do you think? No. no. I agree. Do you want to put the EA in there? Yeah. Ah. Beautiful penmanship. Go ahead, reread. Sammy did not like eating his hmm or drinking his hmm. Hmm. Um, peace. Think that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. Back and reread. Oh, sorry. Sammy did not like eating his peas or drinking his hmm pea. What do you think? E A. Okay. If it was O A, what would it be? Toe. Eating his, drinking his toe. Does that make sense? <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. Go back and reread. Let's see how we have okay. this one. Sammy did not like eating his peas or drinking his tea. Bravo! That makes sense.